Hello, um, I'm Diana Kaneki, President and CEO of Kaneki Art, and I'd like to share some ideas of what I've observed in some fashions this season. Um, in the early spring, um, the biggest the biggest fashion has been with leggings and combinations of different types of skirts and dresses with leggings. Normally, um, some some of leggings are what you would not consider basically something a very basic pair of violet or red pair of leggings um, sort of like fleece lined at what you'd find at Walgreens or some other thing other stores mixed with um, high-end store products which gives a nice look and also is very functional due to due to the spring weather that we're having in the Midwest um, the other point is is also a different type of layering, sort of like a spring layering, like what I'm do doing today, basically a bandeau bikini top, um, tube tank underneath, and a and a, sum, and a summer top. Um, as it is going to get about 51, but it um, but for the weather now about 39, it's 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 fine. Um, but the, the the most important thing about the fashion, what I've noticed is. Um, is a different different form of casual casual to formal wear. And it's the way the way basically people um, are dressing so that they can actually change from from one to the other easily. Like for example, like what I mentioned before with leggings, um, if you're going out and and you're wearing uh, sheer tights or pantyhose, um, leggings are good to cover um, while you while you're traveling. So basically, if you and, and then when you get there, you can change change out the leggings and and you don't have to worry about having runs or anything else. And that's that's something I've noticed as well as when people are traveling. Um, the the newest things are basically just the color schemes. Some of the color schemes are actually going back to the 70s and early 80s um, with oranges, um, some reds. Um, but mainly, mainly when you think of it, it's, it's almost sort of like the style of what you used to see basically with um, the TV series Charlie's Angels. Um, that was. Um, and even for casual wear, basically, um, um, basically, you know, uh, either fitted pants or loose pants, but basically in different, in different shades and hues, um, and, and also in 70s uh, tones and shades like that as well. Um, so it is a little bit of a retro period like that, and but including with some new design as far as um, as far as uh, material and cut as well as line. Um, but but basically, it's still going back to the classic symmetry style. Um, well, um, let me know what you think. Um, you can reach me on Twitter at Diana1A. And also, you can reach me on my website at Kaneki Art, K-A-N-E-C-K-I-A-R-T dot webs, W-E-B-S dot com. Um, Kaneki Art, K-A-N-E-C-K-I dot K ki um, art dot webs dot com and also a twitter at diana one um, thank you oh hello um, I'd like to make a comment on the movie the Fountainhead which I just watched um, I I read I read some books by Anne Rand and also I saw um, Atlas Shrug both movies as they're made which were kind of a show and they made a few years ago um, the Fountainhead is something my dad told me about a movie that he and my mother watched years ago, and I was glad I was able to find to see it. Um, one thing I was thinking about is watch this movie. Um, there's a question that um, Chris Matthews asked on Hardball on MSNBC why people are starting to read Anne Rand. Well, what I would recommend is that um, that question can be answered by by looking at the, if you don't want to watch the full movie which I think you should, uh, watch the final scene of the movie as to the court trial as to the issue of the creative person individuals versus the collective, uh, the group that wants to make a collective or a collective society. I think part of the reason why people are rereading Ayn Rand is because um, since 2009 our society has become more collective and group oriented in thought which wasn't supposed to be done with, with the attitude um, and campaign slogan of change, um, and especially after the 2012 election. Um, you know, prior to 2008 um, election, I felt that basically 
the individual was still important and the creative individual still benefited and was able to prosper from the work and also in that basically the collective aspects, no matter what names they used, um, whether it's communism, the Chicago machine, the transplanted machine, the DC, the term machine is defined by John Cass of the Chicago Tribune, whose, art, whose columns I read every day and subscribe to the Chicago Tribune. Um, well, what happens in seeing this movie, um, I, I think what happens, um, commentators will ask questions why people are reading Anne Rand. They should have watched The Fountainhead because there are certain values that have been lost since the 2009 election and since the current administration in office. Um, I hope that I hope things will get better, and I know they will because the American people are creative and will, and do will not go into thinking as a collective mind. Everyone has the right to their own creativity, their own to think their own thoughts and to succeed from their own work and their own creativity. They are not a tool; they are an individual, and they have a right to be paid and be reward, rewarded and benefited. Um, well, I'm just I I think what happens. Um, what it, it would help um, if more commentators were to look at um, the 1949 movie, The Fountainhead, is when I talked with the ball friends, they definitely said, yes, you have to see this. And I'm glad I did. Thank you.